goodness that God's goodness is chasing after God's people that God's goodness is running down God's people God. those who desire to seek who God is Psalm 23 speaks about the heart of God it speaks about the nature of God the character of God that God is faithful that God is loving. Hallelujah. And hear what we experience about the goodness of God in Psalm 23. That the goodness of God is not just some provision. It is not just a basket of goodness. But when we read Psalm 23 and we see the goodness of God, it is in abundance. The goodness of God is plentiful. Anybody have experienced the goodness of God this yes, morning? Yes. Anybody who have experienced the goodness of God and want to sing of God's praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My sisters and brothers, my friends who are listening, when I read of God's goodness in Psalm 23, hear what it says. That God not only just provides for his people, God not only just provides goodness for God's people, but God provides plenty, plenty. Hear what it says in Psalm 23, according to verse 5, thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, and here it goes. My cup, my cup overflow. I hear somebody translate it and say, my cup is running over. My cup is running over because of the goodness of God. It is plentiful. It is abundant. It is running over. My cup is full and it is running over. So what it is saying to us sisters and brothers that when God provides for us, God not only just provides, but God provides more than enough. Hallelujah. Lord, nobody understand that. I think the people of God should be celebrating. Somebody should be dancing and skipping when they hear that God not only just provides, but God provide more than enough yes. that the cup is running over. Amen. So we talk, and this one now is for the people of God. This one is for the people of God that when God provide more than enough, can we hear a missional call in the text? Can we hear a mission here that is coming out in the passage? But God provides. And God provide more than enough. Yes. What is the mission sounding in the passage? What Too is sheer. the mission of call in the passage? It is sisters and brothers that when God provide more than enough, we should not just realize that the 650 tank is full. I, I see some persons that when they realize and it is, I see tongues, you know, they're no longer, they, they're making too much of the 650, but them step it up. You now can get the 800. I can get the 1,000 gallon. So, you know, remember in the gospel when, when the rich man realized that his barn was too small, what he did? He tear it down and he make a bigger one so that he can store up the extras. I am saying the mission call in the passage is that when our cups are running over, when God has provided more than enough, the mission in the passage is that we should share. Hallelujah. We share. Maybe the need in Albert Town, sisters and brothers, is that somebody want to taste even of the little gravy that has been spilled from the cup. Maybe somebody want to Hallelujah. taste of the little gravy that has been spilled from the plate. Yes. Some persons who have more than enough that they are throwing out. Some persons have more than enough. Maybe the restaurants have more than enough business owners. Maybe you have more than enough that you are throwing through the, the back gate. But here the word of God is that we must take care of the hungry.
hungry. We must take care of those who are in need. This is the mission in the text. The mission is that in God's world, would you believe that there is more than enough? Yeah. There is more than enough in God's world, in the earth. Yes. There is more than enough for everybody. Yes. Cups running, running over. But hear what the challenge is. The big challenge is greed. Yes. The big challenge is greed. That even though my cup is running over, but I must fill a bigger barn. That even though I'm making many profits, instead of helping Albertown High School, business owners, instead of helping a little infant school, that I prefer to go upstairs, that I prefer to build upstairs, that I prefer to put on another department, another apartment and the building and to build a bigger barn that maybe in order to solve the need in Albertown that we must rescue the perishing from their young, from their going to school. Maybe it is that even taxi driver, bus driver, did you help anybody who's going back to school? Oh, okay. I know. You know, let me change. Let me change because I don't want it. I don't want a taxi driver to leave me alone. So. <laughs> but the school children that is blessing you, the school children that is helping you, uh, hallelujah, it's back to school. Did you just identify one who you